Well, with me now is Mark Littlewood, who's the Director General of the Pro Free Market Institute of Economic Affairs here in London. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll talk about the U.S. a little later because, of course, everything is interlinked. Let's focus on the U.K., the only country in the G20 still not to have come out of recession. I mean, the question is why? Pretty horrific numbers, even if the ONS haven't got the numbers exactly right. Terrible numbers. What we've seen over the last 10 or 12 years is a monumental growth in Britain's public sector, not a very efficient sector, not the sort of engine to get the United Kingdom out of recession. And we're now feeling the pain of that. We have grown our public sector over the past decade rather than unleashing our free market entrepreneurial private sector. And I'm afraid we're, that, that this is why we're still in recession, still going backwards. And this is bad numbers heaped on even worse numbers over the past few quarters. I mean, the government has pumped billions into the economy, slashed interest rates. Is none of that working or is it just too early to tell if it will work? Well, you'll never know exactly how bad things would have been if, if, mm. if, if people had done things differently. Yeah. But what we've got badly wrong, over the medium and the long term, these are not things that can be fixed at the flick of a switch or the stroke of a pen. What, what the British government's got badly wrong over the long term is that we've now got a culture of high regulation, an anti-business culture, a high tax culture in the United Kingdom. All of that is getting worse. We expect that to lower productivity. That's what's happening. That's why our numbers are bad compared but to the other... But a lot of people would say that that is worse in places like France, for example, but they're out of recession. Well, you've begun to see in some, ever, some other areas, albeit moving from a higher level, some sort of free market reforms. We've been moving in the wrong direction for the past 10 years. We've been growing our public sector, not shrinking it. That's not wholly true across the rest of the European Union. Mm -hmm. And if you grow your public sector rather than encourage your private sector, when, the, when these things go wrong, expect it to take a long time to get out because it's private enterprise, the private sector and the free market that will get us out of this, not government spending, government projects and more regulation. Let's look to the other side of the Atlantic now. Relatively good news from the United States, not as good as some had hoped, but still good enough. Will that have an impact? Well, first of all, what does it mean for them? And will that have an impact here in Europe? Well, modestly encouraging news from the United States of America. I mean, nothing to celebrate too much about. This isn't a great Christmas present. Good news for the wider international economy, probably the United Kingdom especially. It's always said when the United States sneezes, Britain catches a cold. Well, let's hope the opposite is true. In America, though, just a note of caution. My worry is that they aren't going to learn the lessons of what the UK has done wrong over the past decade or so. And if they continue to build their public sector, more government spending, more government projects, more government regulation, then they'll lose their key cutting edge. The United States has always been good at getting out of recessions and growing because of their entrepreneurial culture, because of their free market spirit. And I very much hope that the Obama administration doesn't attempt to extinguish that in the way that, frankly, you could argue our government has not helped our entrepreneurial spirit and our free market over the past decade or so. There's lots of people here in Europe, in the States, who've lost their jobs, a lot of ordinary people who actually would lay the blame at the so-called fat cats in the city, and they think that what needs to be curbed is bonuses, for example, these exorbitant bonuses that get paid um, to bankers. The UK government is making steps in that direction. What effect, first of all, do you think it's the right thing to do? What effect do you think it will have? It's, it's not the right thing to do. I can understand why people are furious. They are. Uh, that they, are they are paying the cost of it. Bankers amazingly have accomplished the seemingly impossible feat of becoming even more unpopular than politicians. Politicians. But bankers' bonuses are actually a tiny part of our overall economy. For the United Kingdom in particular, financial services are utterly crucial, and we don't want to do anything that would damage that. That's really what we trade on. We've got to rebuild it, not kill it off. Mark, we've got 10 seconds left. Do you think the worst is over? No, uh, I think we could still be going backwards for a while longer yet, but let's hope it's not too long before we pull out of this. Mark Littlewood, on that sobering note, thank you very much for joining us.